Thank you, Nahan Thomason here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to start. I want to welcome each and every one, friends, family, who attending this memorial drive-by of Bernard Hendricks. Uh, we can first give the opportunity for the band.
Ons sê baie dankie aan Wellington Christmas Choir. We call upon Reverend Swartz, Wilfred Swartz, for our opening prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Merciful Father and Lord of all life, we praise you that we are made in your image and reflect your truth and light. We thank you for the life of your son Bernard, for the love and mercy received from you and showed among us. Above all, we rejoice at your gracious promise to all your servants, living and departed, that we shall rise again at the coming of Christ. And we ask that we may share with our brother that clearer vision when we shall see your face in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ons gaan nou die geleentig hier vir Willis en Jelleko, wat vir ons die candle lighting sal lang hier. Die Heere is my sterkte en my beskermer en so groet ek vir u en die bedroefde familie met besalm 28 vers 7 My naam is Adeel en ek is van Wallis en Kaliko begrafnisdienste saam met my teenwoordig is Trudy Witten en Mr. Hopley wat vir ons die trompet speel vaardig Eerstens wil ek my innige meegevoel aan die bedroefde Hendricks familie en die breeë familie, oordelaar namens myself, ons eienaarspaar meneer, mevrou Wolfrit en Linda Heeswijk, ons bestuur en ons personeel by Wallis en Calico begrafnisdienste. Ook baie dankie aan mevrou Hendricks vir die voorrecht wat sy vir ons as Wallis en Calico begrafnisdienste gegee het om saam met haar en haar familie hierdie moeilike pad saam te loop. Die wereld sien ons glimlach, maar Jesus sien die stille trane Ander hoor ons laag, maar hy hoor die sig as ons echter net op hom vertrouw. Verander hy die traan in vreugde en die sig in oorwinning. Voor ons die keerseremonie gaan waarneem, wil ek net een gedig getitel aan Eindsels Wings aan die familie opdra ter nagedachtenis van weile, meneer Hendricks. Aan Eindsels Wings, you were taken away but in our hearts you will always stay. We will hear you whisper in the tallest trees, feel your love in the gentle breeze, and when we find we miss you the most, inside our beautiful memories, we will hold you close. You are an angel watching over us, with the comfort and blessings you bring. You embrace our hearts and hold it close forever aan Eindsels Wings. By Wallis en Gallico begrafnisdienste is ons lese. Ons is daar wanneer u as bedroefde familie vir ons die nodigste het. En met daar die woorde wil ek net vir Trudy die vorig gee om die een keers aan te steek. Dis een teken namens ons eienaarspaar meneer en mevrouw Wilfred en Linda Heeswee. Dis een teken dat ons die familie sy seer is ons seer by Wallis en Gallico. Dan gaan ek vervolgens die name uitroep en soos ek die name klaar uitgeroep het, kan u as familie voor en toekom om u keers te kom aansteek ter nagedachtenis van u geliefde. En die channel gaan vir ons die foto keers aansteek. Dan is het JP, Sandra, Fagri, Violeta, Genevieve, Kevin, Walwe, Mr. Maniel, Hummel, Gino, Nathaniel en AJ. Baie dankie.
Jose Bayadanki and Willis and Gallico. For our tribute, we call upon from the ANC Frank Markwood Brass, Deputy Chairperson, Mr. Stephen Froyes. Family and friends, uh, let me first allow uh, myself on behalf of the Frank Markwood branch to convey our deepest sympathy and heartfelt condolences to the extended Hendrix family on the passing of our comrade and leader Bernie. Now Bernie has joined the movement and was drawn to the ANC as he clearly understood the policies and the guidelines and he wanted to be an agent of change within the organization and also within his community. After years of being a loyal and disciplined cadre within the ANC, he was elected to higher responsibilities and became a member of our BEC collective. Comrade Bernie was a quiet partner within the meetings. But never must you confuse his quietness as a weakness. In fact, he raised his voice in our collective and he could articulate himself with total clarity and accuracy. Bernie had very clear positions on issues relating to corruption. And many a times, we in the collective, we were not at ease with each other because why? We at, within the branch, could not identify ourselves with a certain path that the organization is going. Hence the fact that we clarified our position as a BEC and as a branch, and sometimes we were not the most favorable branch within the greater collective. Bernie had a deep felt sense of servant being. He did not jump to follow popular leaders on popular positions on critical issues. And as I've said, he's challenged the organization on various levels. And he spoke hard against unjust practices from within the organization as he had his mandate to transform and renew our party structures. He was against factionalism within the organization because he was of the belief that we all serve the same South Africa and the same communities. Many a times, Bernie was the voice of reason in the, our BEC structure. And he had the ability to quickly and critically analyze the situation. And also, he never shy away of making resolutions and suggestions as to a way forward. During this period, we could have truly felt the impact that Bernie had within the educating fraternity. The education of our children was very close to his heart and it was prevalent when you look at the social media statements and also the school Walter Frieder and also previous learners that eluded his contribution to their progress within society. Bernie always wanted to be a servant and within our collective, we have given him a, we have given him a special portfolio. Uh, he was the Minister of Catering Services. In this portfolio, he exceeded himself by feeding our army during our election campaigns. And here again, the discipline of a cater like Bernie came through to the fore. He made meticulously sure that Breakfast, lunch, and supper was delivered hot at the right time, at the right place, Njalo. Our last campaign, he served us vigilantly amongst the peltering rain, rain which we experienced on election day. At the memorial service of Doc Kabanyani, again, Bernie, the ever servant, started to to serve the scones and the juice with obviously sometimes his beautiful sense of humor. During our last election campaign, Cabaret Bernie was a critical member 
of our local election team and he physically assisted with the hanging of the posters, with the cavalcades. And this is one thing that I, I need to share. I, I've been harping on Bernie's um, attribute of being meticulous. Now, as we were going, then we were going to put the to go up. Then was Comrade Rooks was there to give the leader. Then was the two comrades who were up. En dan het Bernie voordat hij plakkaat vastgemaakt is en ons afklim met Bernie nou eerst die quality test gedoen. Hij het gaan kijk hoe lang gaan die plakkaat hou as het gaan reen. Wat de engel is die plakkaat wat die wind kan dat waai? Is die plakkaat vast? Is die plakkaat visible vir die mense wat 4 meter en 5 meter afhan gewees het? And that was his commitment and his way of wanting to do everything well. Simple things that he tried to do well. His love for the youth was evident as he always stressed his concern and how our youth, uh, our, actually our organization is failing our youth. He was not afraid to make radical suggestions in the structure to free our youth from the triple threat of poverty, inequality and corruption. And he always believe that education is the key to release you from poverty. He will be surely missed within the organization. And we thank the family for releasing him for the greater good of the organization. We have also during this period come to know about the physical pain that he has gone through. And here we want to thank the family through difficult times, Cheryl. And we accept that the Heavenly Father has called him to the bigger ANC with all our leaders that has gone before him. <coughs> Even there, we know that he would just want to be a humble servant. May the family gain solace that our comrade belonged to that critical community of givers because he was surely a giver. We wish him well on his heavenly journey. We wish him the rest that he really need, deserves from his earthly toils until we all will rise again to his glory. We say thank you to Comrade Stephen Frolix. Now we call upon Reverend Swans. Schriftlesing uit die Evangelie van Marcus, hoofdstuk 6, en ek lees van die vers 30 tot 32. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, from verse 30 until verse 32. The apostles returned to Jesus and told him all they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a desolate place and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a desolate place by themselves. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that is a lamp unto our feet. Your word that gives us strength in time of difficulty and times of sorrow. And so we ask, Lord, that your word will now console us, that your word will comfort us, all to the glory of your name. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. My broer, I don't know what you have said about Bernie's last letter, he is a greater ANC. I think I myself, the most of the people who say, I don't want to go to the world. You know, thank you for 
telling us about the other side of Bernie and his involvement in politics. Now, my brothers and sisters, that's a tight see the script for us to live and to starve and predicate. That's a tight for all us. And that is now Bernie's tight. And the other thing for us, but this son. Het ook een tijd wanneer ons moet gaan. Elke een van ons gaan ook hier die pad moet lopen. Nou, firstly on behalf of the Church of the Annunciation, the Parish Family, our sincere condolences and heartfelt sympathies to the family. Bernie's a vrouw, zijn ma, zijn kinders, kleinkinders, die rest van die familie, weet dat ons bid vir u en ons dan kan u in hierdie moeilike tijd. Jesus receives the news of John, his cousin, who has been beheaded by Herod. Jesus is busy with ministry and he receives this bad news that his cousin has died, he has been murdered. And immediately Scripture says that he gets on a boat and then goes to a desolate place to rest for a while. He gets on a boat and removes himself from society to go to a place to be by himself and to be with God. And why did Jesus do this? He did it because he needed to be with his father. He needed to draw strength from him in order to continue with his public ministry. And my brothers and sisters, we should do the same as Jesus did. Family, the only way that you will receive comfort and will start the healing process is to, like Jesus, Go to a desolate place within yourself to withdraw and to receive strength from God. That is not lavartig om te onttrek for a omlik. That is not lavartig om of swak om te onttrek for a omlik nie. En net stil te wees en voor die Heere te wees, so dat jy kan krijg ontvang van hom om dier hierdie ding te werk nie. Death is never easy. Allemaal van ons wat hier staan, het iemand verloor en afgestaan in die dood. So ons weet hoe voel het. Dit maak seer. Ons sal nooit gewoond te raad daar nie. And death is part of life. Although we do not want to actually feel the hurt and the pain, we still have to go through it and work through it. And here we have an example in Christ that we have to retreat and to be with God so that ons can versterk word, so that ons nieuwe kracht van hom kan ontvang, but also so that we can continue with life because that is exactly what Jesus did. After he went to a place of desolation, a place within himself, a place where he connected with God and where he received strength from God, immediately he went back into public ministry to do what God is called him to do. That betekent ons moet aangaan met dit wat die Heer is geroep het om te doen. Ons moet aangaan met die lewe. Ons moet nog steeds more gaan werk. Ons moet nog steeds moor is school toe gaan, ons moet nog steeds die party reel wat ons moet reel, ten spuite van hierdie hatsie. Ons moet nog steeds doen wat ons moet doen, die routine deurgaan van die lewe. That is what Christ did. But first, he went to a place where he could draw strength from God. And that is the message this evening to you, the family, to the friends of Bernie, to everybody here. Just take time to be alone with God so you can receive strength from God.
because you cannot do it on your own. And you cannot either give up on life. You have to continue living because there are others that you still have to love. Others that you still have to take care of. Others that still need you. So, may God give you the strength to carry on. It gaan nog moeilijk wees. Het gaan nog zeer wees. Want hij is niet meer daar. Maar weet dat die Jere is met u. Hij gaat voor u kracht je. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, I have chosen you and have not cast you off. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And this is what God will do for you. That he will uphold your, your, your right hand with his one. He will strengthen you and he will help you through this. So mag, jylle weet dat jylle is nie alleen nie. Behalwe die mense wat om jy is, amal wat jy is wat vir jy ondersteun, weet dat die een wat vir u geskap het, is die een, wat vir u sal onderhou, en vir u sal onderskraf. So mag die Heere vir u sien, van die dag voor en toe, wanneer niemand daar is nie, wanneer amal weg is, wanneer jylle alleen is, en wanneer die herinneringe terugkom, en die traan nie loop, weet dat jy is nie alleen, dat God is met jou. Kom ons bid saam. Hemelse Vader, ons dankie en ons prijs en ons eer die Heere vir buiniese leven. Dankie Heere vir die mens wat hy was, die voorbeeld wat hy was, net in sy gesin nie, maar ook in die gemeenskap, ook in sy werk. Dankie Heere, dat hy genade vir hom genoeg was. En dankie dat hy geen pijn en geen leiding ervaar meer nie. En ons weet Heere, dat hy met u is, en ons vertrouw en ons vraag dat sy naam geskryf sal wees in die boek van die lewe, in die boek van die lam, en dat ons van weer eens sal sien by die opstanding tot die lewe. Ons prijs u en ons loof en ons eer u vir sy lewe, to die Lord be not only come to mourn a life, but we are celebrating his life to the glory of your name. This we pray in Jesus name. Amen. Ons sê baie dankie aan Reverend Wilfred Swartz. Ons gaan nou weer geleedheid gee vir Warrington Christmas Choir om vir ons item te lewer. Dankie.
baie dankie aan Wellington Christmas Choir, meneer, ons gaan geleden nog geef meneer Hockney, om vir ons, en dan gaan ons ook gaan gebruik, maar gaan die hierdie geleden dat wij vir ons gaan muziek maak, vir die donaties, die koperkies dat ons gevraai, towards die Bernie Hendricks Memorial Trust, so ons gaan nou die geleden tegen, jy kan maar daar voor kom, dames en heren, terwijl die stoplee vir ons gaan muziek maak.
dan kennen we die hapli dames en heren. Amper komen die einde van ons program. Voor ons klaar mag wel ik dit naar voren roep. Quinton Conway en Cheryl om naar voren te komen. Gentlemen, bereaved family, my colleagues from my school, my comrades from the ANC and from SATU and the broader community. Wij nie het my geleentheid gesê, niemand bied vir jou op een podium nie. Dit was by die ANC sy laaste recruitment draai. Wees op jou gelukkigste daar. Want as hulle vir jou een microfoon in jou hand gee, weet niemand vir jou nie. Jy weet precies wat jy wil sê. Ek wil vir hom vanavond sê, jy het verkeerd gehad. Jy bied my vanavond. Ek weet jy wat om te sê nie. Ek bewe. Ek het niks in my handen nie. Nie een blaikje nie. Net dit wat op my hart is. In times like these, I think we give stature to that very well-known Ubuntu that is within all of us. I am because of you. I am nothing without you. And in a sense, we are honoring Bernie's legacy just by being here tonight. What I see in front of me is the people that mattered in his life. And there are so much more. When we organized this drive-by memorial, I spoke to Reverend Swartz and I said, it's not a mere in COVID-19, Reverend, but in COVID-19, we must have memorials forward. But we owe it to Bernie because we have so much of his friends and his colleagues and his comrades. Bernie was a geen vertrouwensie mensie. Jy kon in keer les. Jy jaag om ook jy aan nie. Hence tonight you all came. And we were ready. Ek het nooit in my wildste drome gedink dat ek om voor my sou laat gaan nie. Ek is ouwer as hy. En ek het altyd vir hom gesê, jy is omdat hy so gemakkelijk was met ty. Die collega sal weet het ek altyd gesê, doen my net een gins, begrawe my op tyd. Daarby het ek eindelijk bedoel, dat ek voor hom sal gaan. Die Heere het het anders gewil. En so vanaan gaan ek die name uitsonder nie. Want het sal te veel wees. Maar daar is toch een paar speciale mense en organisaties, vir wie ons eers vanaan moet dankie sê, want miskien sien ek hulle nie morgen nie. Of vergeet ons, maar as dit die geval is, dan vraag ek nou al, vergeet we ons asjeblief. Soos hy klies, hy sê, allemaal wat ons uitgelaat het. Weet nie dat ek en die kinders en mami, en sy twee broers Jonathan en Clayton en die uitgebreide familie aan Kajeni, en die nuggies en die neefs, dit baie waard deur. Ben nie vir my lang voor die tijd gesê, jy kom hier met jou vitariasies, en jou pastakels, het soekie, hoe jy lees weet het, hulle soekie, gekleerde matte nie. At least of all a blue one. There's no blue here tonight. You only see yellow, black, green, and red for the love we had for you. And that was my instruction to them. So we honoring him by doing so. Thank you. Reverend Wolfred Swartz, thank you for bringing my, my Reverend. I can be gelentig for you to say, when you were not ordained yet, I said to you one Sunday, so if you are in a community, in a community, so Reverend, then I travel it all after you. So maybe I get the very pack of our line, and I will return to the open door. Thank you so much for your encouraging words. And also that I can just call the Wolfred by times. 
and you don't even have a problem with it. Thank you for encouraging me and telling me that life does not stop here because Bernie and the Lord would want us to continue. So I'll take my cue from there. I'll make time for the Lord. And then we need to say thank you to the ANC, particularly our Deputy Chairperson, Comrade Stephen. Thank you, Comrade Stephen, Deputy Chairperson, that you now understand your Nobala. That's me. So as was here, Reverend Wolfred, you must make two deal. You must burn it deal, you must make deal. And that brings us to the school. The Alta Freda, I get no word of your advice. Principal, acting principal, Lee. Thank you, you and your staff and everybody, Roger. That's so a prachtige memorial and so a short time, one day, by each other to sit. But by the way, thank you all for what you left us to do. For the clown boodskap of what you left on my behalf, dear Steer, and in my arms to move her. But it was so warm, gelukkig. By the Alta Freda. That was his taste. By the way, thank you to you. Die begrafenis of memorial gangers wat vanaan toe kon verkie hier kom neersit het. En soos die principaal vir my gesê het, we will carry on tomorrow. Hopefully there will still be people that would want to pledge tomorrow that are not here tonight. Because ek dink dit is een edele doel. En hulle donderdag by die memorial gesê, hoe Bernie is een soccer coach. Altijd gesê, die kinders moet kaartbot snu om shimpads te maak en in hulle boots te druk. He had ways of getting our most vulnerable players, our working class children, on that podium, doing their very best. So you can honor his legacy with that contribution that you have made tonight. I thank you from the bottom of my heart and from the hearts of the Veldefrede soccer teams. And then, camarade, my satu camarade, my satu comrades, that's my family. I see my boss, the provincial organizer here. Comrade Barry, you were much more than just the provincial organizer, my organizer, my boss. You've grown in this family as a friend to Candy and Biano. You've been there forever. You've made your way here, having to fly back tomorrow. Thank you for your contribution also to the life of Bernie. You come a long way. You became friends with him. Thank you for allowing me many times to put my burdens and all my obligations on you and you would carry them. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I also want to thank the PWC Collective, Comrade Jonathan, the Secretariat, and the rest of the PWC and the PEC of Satu Western Cape. And here it is, it yellow my hand a look. You asked me, Jonathan said to me last week, Chess, now it is your time. We will carry you. And up till today, and even tomorrow, and in this week, when, Father Wilfred, we have obligations on Saturday's National Women's Day. Tomorrow, but the province is hosting it on Saturday. And that's my portfolio. Yet Satu took all the responsibility in this time. And for that, I am so grateful. Thank you so much that I am more than just a provincial gender convener. I am family, and therefore you carry me. Dames en heren, collega's, kamerade, ek sal nie amal kan ontdoen nie. Goth, I don't think he's here, maybe he's working. But Garth Buddha, the paramedic, that was here in Bernie's last hours and also when he passed away. He is my cousin, but he was more than that. He was also the person who had to do the certifying. Sandra, Genevieve, Giselle, what was in the last era he was sitting? Thank you very much. All the people, the friends that were here in the church, JP, Amman, Gino, Zaid, Mr. Manel, Fanny Oudstis, Genus, the Club of Jazz Team, Wilbur, the Motorcycle Club, what now not one man is, 
Pai danke, dass ihr lieber nie zu lieber und zu lieben nicht von dir. Pai danke, dass ich hier dein Lad bin, ich wies achter mich. Medun, wir sind zu Maike, was in 10 Minuten kann reden, dass die Rabe weggereicht wird. Want Bernie zou nie langs die hoop morgen wel weggerei word nie. En ek weet daar waar hy is, glimlach hy, want sy vriende gee om. Hulle dra ons, baie dankie vir dit. En dan aan my familie. Mami, Jonathan Clayton, Jaloes my net, Diesel Charles en die kinders, Moira, Julio, Nicky, Charles, Liam, Gabriel en Monique en die uitgebreide familie. Wat sal ek sonde jylle maak? Baie dankie dat jylle my hande omhoog hou. Thank you for your love and your compassion. Thank you for being there in my darkest hour. I know that I will, I will rise again. After all, we strong women en het vir my altijd die geleerdheid gegeen om my drome uit te leef. Baie dankie vir alles wat jylle vir my beteken het in hierdie tyd. Ek gaan jylle nog baie nodig kry en ek weet jylle sal daar wees. To God be the glory. Thank you Jesus for sparing my husband for 35 years. Baie dankie jylle dat jy vir my leiding gespaar het. Baie dankie jylle dat jy so stil weg net weggeglip het, soos Ernest Lof, dat my geleentheid daarin gesê het, en nie morgen sal hoor. So, babai, my chomie, my borompartner, my sangmaakie, my sokkemaakie, my aansiepeide, my satupeide, my kosatu ondersteuner, So my net, my daddy, my kinderse pa, Athena, en tou was a opa, o selfie jongens, wat my promis, het wil al aan jou legacy, dankie vir my kostbare oomlikke, zondag, maandag en dinsdag, toe jy tot ziens gesê het, Dankie dat jy in 3 dae 35 van getrouwde lewe kon top, soos net jy kon. Baie dankie dat jy vir my sterk gemaakt het en vir my verseker het dat ek die sommere hier jy is sê, maar dat ek op my eie twee bene kan staan en my vir 35 jaar gementor. Ek dank die Heere. Baie dankie, dames en heren. Ek gaan dan verleedheid gee vir Winter Conway van Wellington Second Air.
Dank sie Ihnen, Dank Sharon und die Familie, für uns für Ihnen und Ihnen und Ihnen und Ihnen und Ihnen und Ihnen und Ihnen. Let's receive the blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.